the good morning let us continue with the uh, oblique planes so this is the fourth session wherein we are doing problems on oblique planes and as already we have seen an oblique plane is a plane which is uh, having that particular surface inclined to both hp as well as vp so let us go to this problem a pentagonal lamina of sides 30 mm with one of its sides resting on hp and it is parallel to and away from the observer the corner opposite to the side resting on hp is 25 mm above hp okay now as you can see i have not given any inclination with reference to either the plane or to the side so i can also frame the problem in this way also now in this particular problem i need to again see whether the plane is surface of the plane is inclined to which plane because anyway i told you that initially whenever we do problems in oblique planes we need to start such that the surface inclination has to be satisfied first okay now if we just read this particular problem we can see that i have just given a pentagonal lamina of 30 mm side this one of its sides so anyway all the details what are given here it is all correspond to side only but only thing is i have not given directly that uh, the particular side is inclined to a particular plane of course in this particular case i would have given that uh, the side which is resting on hp would have been inclined at some 30 degrees to vp but i have not given that so obviously this particular first statement has to correspond to the details of one of the sides but we know that we need to satisfy this uh, side whatever i have given only at the later stages okay now obviously if we just see this i have given a wave observer the corner opposite to the side resting on hp is 25 mm above hp then i need to write, draw the projections so let us write this also draw its projections okay now let us say if i have this pentagonal line so now when we we know that one of the sides is resting on hp now since we know that one of the side is resting on hp that particular side in the initial view should be kept perpendicular to vp since i need to keep it perpendicular to vp where is the details of vp is in the top view. so it is just a clue for you so that i need to start from top view okay now let us say if you have to start the top view since one of the side is resting on hp initially i will consider that entire lamina to be resting on hp itself not only that the side which is resting on hp has to be perpendicular to vp that is i need to keep in this particular way okay now i have just given you just see the last thing not i given the corner opposite to the side so which is the corner opposite this particular side which is resting this particular corner which is away from this anyway it is opposite now this particular corner is at a distance of 25 mm above hp that means say that if i just lift it like this then this particular corner should be at a distance of 25 mm above hp which can be seen in front view okay that means say that if i just hold it in this particular way then now instead of giving directly surface inclination i have given indirectly so what is the indirectly given indirectly i have given that the corner opposite the side which is resting is 25 above hp that means say that now the lamina is inclined to which plane the lamina is inclined to hp now we know that since the lamina is inclined to hp initially we assume lamina to be resting on hp now since the lamina is resting on hp true shape and size will be seen in top view i will start from top is it clear okay now i will draw the top view then in the second stage what to do that in the second stage i am going to lift the lamina but in this particular case instead of giving directly the surface inclination i have given indirectly that the corner opposite the side is at this point so i am just going to lift it this way so this is my second stage what about the third stage in the third stage it is given that Just now, come back to this particular sentence. What is given? The side resting on HP and it is parallel to and away from the observer. That means to say that what? So where is the observer? So observer is here. So for the observer, this particular side now it is perpendicular to what? Perpendicular to HP. Now it should be what? It should be parallel. So once it becomes parallel, what will happen? That is, I need to redraw in the third stage. 
So how do you redraw in the third shape? The third shape, I will redraw the figure such that the side which is resting, now it will be parallel to VP. Not only that, it should be away from the observer. Since it is away from the observer, it has to be close to the VP. Because as you can see, I would have written this either like this or I would have written like this. Let us say if I write like this, then what will happen? Even though this particular side is parallel to VP, but it is neither to the observer. But what I wanted, I wanted this particular side to be away from the observer or it should be nearer to the VP. So obviously I need to write in this particular fashion. So now we can see in the third stage, now the lamina is becoming inclined to both HP as well as VP. That is the reason this problem is also corresponding to an oblique plane where I can get the solution for this in three stages. Now let us do this orthographic projection. Okay, how to do the projections? I will draw the XY line as usual. Okay, now how do you start? So as I said, since one of the side is resting on HP, initially that particular side should be taken perpendicular to VP. So VP details will be seen in, will be seen in top view. That would say that I need to start from top view. Or I can also say that since the side resting, I mean the corner which is opposite the side resting on HP is 25 above. That would say that lamina has to incline to HP. So either I can consider this first statement or the second statement. Both the statement lead us to say that I need to start from top view. Okay, how do you start the top view? Now since one of the side is resting on HP, we know that initially I need to take perpendicular side to be perpendicular to VP. So we just start in this way. Okay, I just written the lamina. Now naming. So naming, as I said that since we are starting from top view, naming should be start from leftmost visible point in the anti-clockwise direction. So I will write A, B, C, D, E. So what about the corresponding uh, front view? Now since I wanted a particular side, in this particular case, the side AE or EA has to be on HP. Initial assume that entire lamina ought to be on HP itself. Okay, now as I said, we have just drawn the top view. Now I need to draw the front view. Since I told you just now, your AE is resting on HP, initial assume that entire lamina to be on XY line itself in the front view. So draw these projectors. Then get this particular view. Okay, then name them. So A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash and E dash. This is stage 1. Okay, what is stage 2? Now in the stage 2, I need to satisfy. So here what is satisfy? I need to satisfy the surface inclination. Surface inclination in this problem given indirectly. So what is it indirectly it is given? It is given that the side or the corner opposite to side, so which is that side AE, this particular corner C, which is opposite to AE, is at a distance of 25 mm above HP. That is indirectly high given the surface inclination. So, how do you get that? To get that, what you do is first draw a line which is at a distance of 25 mm above x y line. Okay, just draw a small a construction line. Okay, then anyway, I can just take this. Then I am going to take from a particular point, then I am going to cut it. So it is as simple as that. Okay. So get this. Okay. Then again measure this distance of obviously all these distances will not be a whole number, remember. So you need to, since you are doing this using on a manual drawing, you should remember that I should use a compass now. So take the compass, take this distance and put it. Is it okay? Similarly, distance also I need to take the compass. Okay. So get these distances. They can transfer the points now. So this is A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, and E dash. Now, what is this angle? This angle is theta, which we are supposed to determine. So I can just simply write theta question mark. You can just measure that. 
Is it okay? Now, since this particular lamina is inclined to HP, it will be smaller in size in the top view. How do you get that? To get that, as we know already, I need to do the projectors from the both new front view as well as previous top view. So, just draw the projectors. See, project nothing but there are locus points in the corresponding views. So, these are the locus points of all these uh, corners in the top view. If you just remember when, when, when we did lines, I used to say that locus of A, locus of B, similar here also, you are also locus only. Okay. So, just draw this. And remember, projectors has to be as light as possible. That you have to keep it in your mind. Okay. Now, let us trans the points in sequence. Let us say A projector, A projector, then B projector, then C projector, D projector, then E projector. See, at the advantage of getting the points in a particular fashion is without looking into a particular diagram, I can simply get the points easily. So that you are not going to miss any critical points. Okay, now join this in the same sequence. That is A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E back to E. Is it okay? So this is second stage. Now you can see that since the lamina is Inclined to, so this is what the distance I have given. We have given this as 25 mm, and uh, this particular side is given as how much? Given as 30 mm. Okay, now stage 2. What is stage 3? Again, go back to the problem. So, what it is given? It is given that one of its sides resting on HP, which is that side resting on HP, that is this particular AE, and it is which one? This AE. A is parallel to VP and away from the observer. What do you mean by that? That is, I need to redraw this particular figure because anyway in the second stage, that particular A E now it is still perpendicular to VP. But I wanted this particular sign to be parallel to VP. Not only that, it should be away from the observer. Okay. Now let us say if I don't get the particular statement, either I can draw in this way or I can draw in this way. That means if I draw in this way, let us say if C is nearer to the observer, then A is nearer to the plane or away from the observer. Let us say if I draw in this way means what? In this way means your A is nearer to the observer whereas C is nearer to the set planes. Is it okay? But anyway here I want to see that that particular side should be away from the observer. Since it is away, I need to redraw this figure in this way only. So now we can you can see this. In the previous cases and all, I used to give the inclinations. So instead of inclinations, I can also say in this particular way also. Okay. Now I need to redraw the figure. How do you redraw the figure? As we know that this A B has to be parallel. Okay. Now simply I will draw this projector projector. Okay, just construction method. So take this distance and put it here. Then take this distance to the center. So let us say this is my center point. Upon center, I will take this distance. Consider this. Then draw another uh, construction line. Now take this because I am just considering this is my reference line now. So this point I will take it here. Okay, now take this distance and put it on either side because anyway it's between the figure now. So get one line, get another point. Is it clear? So as you can see, construction you can do by any method which you feel convenient to yourself. But unnecessarily, you should not take more than 5 minutes to redraw the figure because I have seen students, they will take more than half an hour to redraw. Okay, so don't get confused. Here, all these lines are perpendicular. Here, all these lines have to be parallel. So it is as simple as that. Okay. Okay, now let us uh, shift the points. So I just shifted here. So this is A. Then what about this? This is E or I can say this is A, B, C, D, E. Now join them in the same sequence. So what are the sequence? A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E back to E. Is it clear? Now I need to get the new front view. How do you get the new front view? Same process. That is, I need to draw the vertical projectors from the new top view and horizontal projectors from the previous front view. Let us do that. So draw these projectors. So 
सो ये प्रोजेक्टर ई प्रोजेक्टर ऑन एक्स वाई लाइन सी प्रोजेक्टर ऑन दिस लाइन देन बी प्रोजेक्टर ऑन द मिडल लाइन सो यू कैन जस्ट ड्रॉ दीज प्रोजेक्टर्स वेर ओवर इज रिपेट यू नीड टू राइट दट इंटर प्रोजेक्टर्स ओके प्रोजेक्टर्स आर ओन इन टू गेट दी इंटरसेक्शन फ्रॉम दी प्रोजेक्टर्स विच यू आर ड्रॉन फ्रॉम दी प्रीवियस फ्रंट ओके पॉइंट नाउ सो दिस इज ए then b this b this is b c d e okay join them in the same proper sequence so what is the sequence a to b b to c c to d d to e e back to e is it okay now we can observe you can see in both top and front view the pentagon is seen in smaller size now since the seen is smaller size means it has to be inclined to both hb as well as vp okay so remember whenever i say an oblique plane always we are going to get some smaller shapes in both top and front view which i can get in the third stage okay because as i am just repeating in stage one the particular lamina pentagonal lamina no so pentagonal lamina is parallel to vp and perpendicular I mean parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp in stage 2 it is inclined to hp but it is still perpendicular to vp in stage 3 it is inclined to both hp and vp with the given conditions is it clear thank you